All right, Vitaly here again, and um, in this little video, I wanted to go over why sometimes you um, <clears throat> will have a leak-free coach as far as the bags and all the lines and, um, you know, these valves and things like that, but yet um, you're still losing air out of these uh, rear bags, which are on the tag axle. So, uh, somewhere along the way, um, Prevo changed their design of what happens um, essentially to these three valves. So, um, the earlier design, which I am told, you know, before 96 or so, my coach, I have a 96 coach, and, and it, this is the case with my coach where. Um, I'll, 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 I'll level it out and I'll leave it for the night and I will, um, come back in the morning and these, these bags are holding strong, but the tag bag has completely deflated. And so, um, I looked into this and, and I discovered why they're deflating. Um, so in your later coaches, the way Prevo designed the system is that when you want to lift your tag, you flip the switch and it actually pressurizes this line and it'll send pressure to these uh, two valves here, which will essentially open up an exhaust and dip, exhaust all the air out of the tag axle bags. And, and then the same pressurized air will actually actuate this valve, which will uh, send aux air into these brake chambers that will actually lift the tag axle. So both of that happens simultaneously, which is fine um, when you have pressure in this line. Um, but uh, the earlier design that Prevo had was backwards. What I mean by that is when you... So when you're in drive mode, when you're with the tag axle down under normal, normal operation, uh, this line would actually be pressurized instead of depressurized. So essentially, to lift the tag, you would depressurize this, and, and it would do essentially the same thing, except, you, you know, uh, these valves were all inverted. So they needed pressure on them to not exhaust the air out of these two bags and this one needed pressure on it to not let the uh the aux air supply you, you know engage these brake chambers that actually lift the tag axle uh, which by the way these are not for braking these are for um you know actuating um uh, actuating um a lever that lifts the tag axle but you know, they just use normal brake chambers. Um, so what was happening in my coach is um, because it needed pressure in here to keep this valve from dumping air out of this um, rear tag bag, um, overnight my aux tank would, you know, has leaks in it. And so it would kind of drain out and I don't have a... Uh, I don't have an auxiliary um, compressor. Some people have like a 120 volt or a 12 volt uh, aux air compressor that sort of maintains the pressure. My coach didn't doesn't have it because uh, it's an entertainer. But essentially, it was um, causing the the pressure in the aux air uh, aux tank to go down, which essentially would lose pressure in this line. And it would open these up to and exhaust the air out. Um, so there is a fix that you can do. There's a couple ways you can you can do it. And one of the ways that um, that I came up with is, you know, I want to keep pressure in this line, even when I lose pressure on my aux air tank, which is what comes in to this switch right here. So you can install a uh, basically a 12 volt solenoid valve right after this switch so that um, when you have the ignition off this uh, solenoid valve would basically be normally closed which means that if it had no voltage on it 
it would be shut. And so even if your aux tank lost its pressure, this solenoid valve would keep the pressure in this line and uh, your tag would not, your tag bags would not deflate. Um, so uh, that's one way of doing it, but you do need to make sure that there are no leaks anywhere in this whole, um, in this whole, in this whole line. So again, it would be from the lift switch, which is next to the driver, and um, coming in here, and then where it splits off and and splits, uh, I guess it'd be a three-way split, um, which is not that hard. You could you could trace these lines down and make sure they're not leaking. Um, but that would be one way to solve the issue. And then what would happen as you get back in the coach and you start it back up, um, this relay would receive 12 volts the moment you turn on your ignition and it would open up. And so then you resume your normal tag lift uh, operation. Um, because remember, to lift the tag in this system, uh, the air needs to be um, depleted from this line. So hopefully that's not too confusing, but essentially um, Prevo changed their design because they probably realized that this wasn't, you know, what most people wanted. Uh, but uh, just to reiterate, you know, about 96 and earlier, the design was that if you are trying to lick, lift your um, tag, you essentially would hear an exhaust as you're flipping this switch. So if you flip the switch and you hear air exhausting out of this uh, valve, then what that means is that um, uh, you have uh, the, the old system. Um, because in this system, this is the newer system shown here, um, lifting the tag actually pressurizes this system. And so... Um, that's one way to fix it. The other way to fix it is you could install, um, the, there's these exhaust ports here. You could install relays onto the exhaust port and kind of do the same thing where they're normally closed. So there's, if there's no voltage going to them, they would be shut. And even if you lost pressure in here, um, the rear tag the, the, the tag axle bag would not be able to exhaust because you have a solenoid here that is normally closed. And the moment you turned your ignition on, it would then exhaust the, the bag. Um, but that's not an issue because you would build up the pressure in the aux tank within a couple of minutes and the, the tag would uh, go back down. So um, hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know if I've confused you more than I've helped you and helped you and I'm going to Try to make another video, see if I can explain it in another way. Um, but that is why some of the coaches will lose the air in the rear, uh, in the tag um, axle uh, because it's this old system, because you've lost the pressure in the auxiliary tank. So um, hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.